I finally had some time to film. I've been ridiculously busy with school and basically just life. So yeah, I'm really excited that I had time to film today. And I decided to do something that will transition into spring. I'm going to be really honest. I have no idea when spring even starts. But I do know that one of the trends that is going to be for this season is going to be the pastel liner. Now I know that I'm pretty sure that this was kind of coming into play last spring as well. But I have seen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pictures of people with um, the pastel liner and NYX actually came out with a new line of not necessarily all pastels but just really 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 bright liners and I love them. Today I'm going to be using this lavender lilac color. I don't know this purple, this light purple. It's very eastery like that's kind of what I like envisioned when I saw this um, and this is the color vivid blossom and as you can see it's a lavendery purple it's really really fun i think it'll look great on everybody's eye color especially brown eyes i tend to see that a lot of purples look really good on our eyes though so. i also went with a pretty natural face and really natural lip i wanted a lot of the focus to be on the eyes um if you want to add lashes to this you totally can also i really personally liked it without the mascara but i knew that some people would probably want to see mascara on it so if you're going to do mascara i would probably keep it to the top i really put tried to put a lot or a decent amount of that um purple eyeshadow on the bottom as well um you will see which eyeshadow i used in the video so yeah i'm super excited to be doing this springtime makeup because that means that it's super duper close and I hope you guys really enjoy it. This is really out of my comfort zone. I hope somebody learns something and steps out of their comfort zone as well. Please leave any comments, suggestions, questions down below. Make sure you check out the full post um, on freewearfashion.org. I will also leave that right down below. And that is about it. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. And if you want to see how I did this springtime pastel liner, then just keep watching. Alright, so to get started, my eyes are already primed, and I'm going to use the color Reindeer from the Too Faced Holiday Palette. It was the blue dollhouse looking one, and I'm just going to blend that um, onto the outer corner of my eyes. I've been doing this with all my eyeshadows, and I've been loving, loving, loving it lately. And then I'm going to take the color Dreams from that same palette. It's a really pretty mauve -y color, and I'm going to do the exact same thing with this really small Luxie crease brush. It is like my favorite brush of all times. Um, I will try and leave it down below in the description bar. And then I'm just going to take um, the same one that I used for my crease uh, oh maybe I didn't use that for my crease either way just a fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend that out and then I'm gonna start with um, the eyeliner I didn't really do much on the eyes obviously because it's all about the liner today so I'm gonna do a really thin black wing to start out um, if you guys want to see like a full winged eyeliner tutorial let me know I just feel like there are a lot of them out there um, and I can do one too if you guys want to see it I don't know so anyways I'm going to fill that in and then I'm going to go with the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner. This is in the color Blossom. And I'm going to lightly go over the top of it um, just to make it a little bit thinner and of course to add that pop of color. I love this eyeliner. The brush is really pointed, really easy to work with, and it's super, super, super precise. That's what I really enjoyed about this eyeliner, and this is how it came out. You can do it as thick as you want, as thin as you want. I wasn't quite sure how dramatic I wanted it, but it came out really, really great. Then for my face, I'm going to use my Mirabella Prime, and I'm going to put that all over. And then I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Tawny. And I'm going to use this big Tarte um, Buffer Brush. Jaclyn Hill uses this, or used it, and I loved it. I got it from Gem Beauty because it was on sale. And then I also picked up the Better Skin, I want to say this is Maybelline, the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in Light Medium. And I'm still kind of testing it out. I've been wearing it a lot lately, and um, I think that the staying power is great, and it doesn't crease super bad, which I really, really, really like. And it also has a decent amount of coverage, so, so far I'm really liking it. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm just going to keep using it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take my Miracle Complexion sponge and blend that out like always. I did under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Conceal, or not concealer, uh, powder, matte and poreless powder, and I'm going to pack that underneath my eyes and then take a big brush and just dust it all over the place. 
For bronzer, I am going to use my NYC Sunny Bronzer, and this almost acts as like a transition shade for my real contour, and I'm using a Luxie Small Contouring Brush. And I'm going to go ahead and carve out my cheekbones, go around my forehead, on my temples, under my chin, and also a little bit on the sides of my nose. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Contour Kit, of course, and using that color in the corner, I'm going to blend that into the hollows of my cheeks to make me look just a little bit thinner and I am kind of taking it in like a triangle motion as well to really define my face and then using this brand uh, called Revolution I found it at Ulta and I really liked it I'm using the blush in the color nude and the NYX banana HD powder I'm going to use to carve out my contour so I decided to use this city color uh, liquid highlight in it's like pink champagne. I don't really care what it is because I really didn't like it. It did not blend out how I wanted it to blend out like at all. It was like, uh, it's like big blotches on my face. It didn't work. So I went ahead and just took my Ofra shimmering illuminating strips and I put that on top of it and that blended it out a little bit, but not really. It's really just that highlight's great. And then I'm going to use a cargo eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is ancient and I will leave the color down below but it basically matches this purple eyeshadow that I love or the purple sorry eyeliner and I would have left it without mascara but I decided to add some anyways and this is the essence um, I want to say like lash blast or something this mascara is pretty great that's what I decided to use and then for my lips I'm using the NYX butter gloss in eclair that's it for this look. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. Go ahead and check out the full post, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.